What's this? Sketchy Logic presents... A game based on the illustration of J.G. Granville. And the music of Camille saint Sainz. It's Avery Attorney! Hey everybody, welcome to Fallen Channel featuring Fallen and... Micro, I'm back everybody! While we try to crack down the case for Avery Attorney. I have to tell you, Fallen, I've been so excited for this game for such a long yeah, time. Yeah, she's been asking, when are we going to play it? When are we going to play it? Like, forever. <laughs> I'm I've like... been waiting to pay, play <laughs> Pigeon Lawyer for the longest time. It's been months now. Like, I've even come up with its own theme song, but I think the theme song here is even much better. <laughs> yeah, I was like, when I finish Undertale, then we can do it. And she's just like, finish Undertale! <laughs> and it was, still wasn't finished. What's going on? Except it's supposed to be finishing up hopefully soon. No, it should be finished by the time it's this is It's finished by now. Yeah. Okay. You haven't seen them yet. I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> All right. Bad so, micro. <laughs> bad micro. Watch that. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get started here. Let's click to begin. New game. Now, neither of us have played this game. This is new to us. We don't know what's going on. So Look let's let's find out. How beautiful are these graphics so far, though? Yeah, pretty nice. January 1st, 848. We're going to do Void again unless it, it does its own voices. You too. The Chateau Crigny of Baron Roguil. Any any French stuff she's gonna say. Yeah. Oh, it's a what? dead frog. Oh, that's that. that pretty is gruesome. Is that Monsieur Gouy? Oh, mon dieu. That is. That's a mysterious. Name mm -hmm. Caterline. What's have done? Oh, it's mis it's a uh, mistaken identity type deal. Act one: A cat with claws. Oh, this gonna is be like cat. Sherlock Holmes. I am so in love with this already. Okay. Uh, Mr. Pigeon Lawyer, let's go. I don't think that's the lawyer. That's Sparrowson. Maybe be Sparrowson? I will be Sparrowson. Okay. It's midday already. Why on earth is that featherhead? And I'll be uh, this guy. Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to get up. Haven't you heard what they say about the early bird, Falcon? I'm Falcon, I guess. Okay. Ugh. Two early for worms past the Cabernet Savion. There'll be time for that later. We've got some business to handle first. Business? A letter arrived while you were sleeping. I haven't opened it yet. You are in my house while I'm sleeping? Of course I am. It's probably just more junk mail. Go ahead, Sparrowson. You may have the honors. Did they have junk mail back in the Victorian era? A prob well, it's, <gasps> like I think this is it's supposed to be 1840 Paris. Um, I think for as long as there's been letters, there's been junk, junk mail, mail. And, and chain letters. <laughs> like, what kind of... What I'm a Nigerian prince. Please send me <laughs> your bank account on this parchment, and, <laughs> and I will send millions of dollars or francs in this francs. case, right? No. All right, <clears throat> dear Monsieur Falcon, I'm writing to you today because my daughter, Dame Caterline, has been arrested for a crime she did not commit. I can already tell she's gonna be a cat because her name is Caterline, and the name of the case is oh my a cat gosh. with claws. So she's gonna be a cat. But can you imagine? The birds are trying to save the cat. Maybe she's gonna try to eat them at some point. No, no, I'm wondering if it's gonna be like some racism stuff, like Z like Zootopia. Oh, Zootopia. It's like, it's like you're, oh, you're just a cat. You know, you're a, you're a predator. And uh, if you guys have not seen Zootopia, go see that. <laughs> it's a, it's a very good movie. We were very surprised. Oh, it was, it was really good. She is being held at La Conciergerie Prison for the charge of murder, no less. Her trial is in three days' time. I would be. Oh yes. You. I would be greatly in your debt if you would offer her your legal aid. Your sincerely, Senor Pertwee. <laughs> <laughs> Demi Ow. No. Demi Ow of the Demi Ow stands. No, no. You gotta say Demi all of that. You guys. Okay. Demi Ow. <laughs> your sincerely, Senor Pertwee. Demi Ow of the Demi Ow estate. I love it. <laughs> Every bit of it. This is so wonderful. Well, this is quite something. I know, your first serious client in months! Not just that. The Demiao estate is well known for its exuberant wealth. Even if we cannot do much for Dane Cataline, his lordship would still reward us handsomely for our efforts. Wow, so I suppose you intend on defending Dane Cataline in court? Indubitably. <laughs> Indubitably, I wish that would. Of, c of course. It would be foolish to let such a good opportunity slip through our feathers. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm in love with this game so far. Now, um, I know that this is supposed to be like Ace Attorney, except in Ace Attorney, especially the earlier games, they don't let you lose. They will do everything they can so that you 
can put all the pieces together. I have heard that with this game, you actually can get it wrong. Okay. So we have to be very astute when we start going through the cases. Astute and clever. <laughs> yes. And make sure that we get all the clues and then we match stuff up. Because we might end up sending the wrong person to jail. So what are we Or to... the right person in jail, depending on okay. how well we work the case. So we need to her- Sherlock Holmes this stuff. Yes, we got to Holmes this shit. Holmes this shit. Mm-hmm. Wait, Benedict Cumberbatch Holmes? Or Robert Downey Jr. Holmes this shit? A little bit of both. A little bit of comedy. A little bit of both. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Of course. Be- oh, I already said that. Do-do-do-do. Grab your coat, Sparrowson. We're going to find our kitty client at La Conchias. Excellent. My derriere was getting tired from all this sitting around. He's a lot standing. Of... He was standing. No, see, look, there's a chair right there. But he's not sitting in it. I, 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 maybe he is. <laughs> oh, but I better file away Senor Dinao's letter first. One moment, Falcon. Pierre's letter. Pierre Tuar. This letter has been added. So we get an evidence folder. folder. Oh, that's cool. We have one. Senor Pereira has requested the legal aid. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Cool. All right. You can access the evidence folder at any time by clicking the suitcase. Oh, this also reminds me of um, what was that one like live action detective case that we saw? Yeah, we, we watched uh, Con- Dod- Contradiction. Dod- Contradiction. We watched Dodger and uh, uh, Jesse, Jesse Cox, Cox play. play it, and we're like, oh, it's so cool. We binge watched that. Oh, we did. We, it was so intriguing. We binge watched that. I'm thinking this is going to be somewhat similar, but with um, hand drawn pigeons. Animals. With pigeons? What pigeons? Falcons? He's a falcon, and he's a. That's not a pigeon. That's like a wren or something. I thought you were going to say a rat that flies. Or which a sparrow. Is a pigeon, it's a sparrow. Is a... His name is Sparrow, so why did I not get that? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I nearly forgot my wallet. I wouldn't want to lose that. Da, da, again. I recall you losing it at the New Year's party and at Christmas. Yes, all right. No need to make a list. Falcon picked up his wallet. You had 20 francs. We're, we're in the money so far. Got 20 bucks. You may see how much money he is carrying at any time by clicking on the wallet symbol. I'm guessing we're going to have to bribe people or buy stuff. This is France in the Victorian era. Or in the 1800s, right? It's, it's 1840, so it's like... Right after everyone got their shit together after Napoleon, gotcha. right? <laughs> Let's make a move. Oh, Monday, a... January 3rd. Welcome to the map screen. Oh, well, it's almost my birthday. A few more days, it'll be my birthday. You'll be like minus over 140 Some years two, old? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the map screen. From here, you can travel to any listed area by clicking on a location name or a location node. I guess these are little nodes. Areas marked with clock symbols take a whole day to visit. Areas with no symbols can be visited freely. Excellent. Oh, so I'm guessing some of this stuff's going to be timed so yeah. we can make it to the court date and stuff. So La Conciergerie, for example, has a little clock symbol next to it. Yeah. That's going to take the entire day for us. I guess what? And AA, that's Ooh. us. <laughs> so, AA, AA offices, aviary attorney. A sign on the door reads, the aviary attorney offices. No cases too big or too small. No junk mail. And we got junk mail anyways. Well, it turned out not to be junk mail. For centuries, the infamous conciergerie prison has detained the accused and the condemned alike. So let's go see the client, I guess. <laughs> Dean Ketterline. Falcon and Sparrows and step into the stone cold foyer of the concierge prison. Sullen-faced guards and visitors linger beneath the medieval archways. What do the guards look like? I hope they're dogs. Ah, oh, the Gosiergi. They say this is the finest prison in the whole of France. The outer walls are impenetrable. The cells are spotless. The guards are well-mannered. Quark! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that person. What do you mean? You mean what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Good day, monsieur. I am here to see Dame... Dame... Wait, it's Dame or Dame? Dame. Dame. Dame Catalina de Miao. I am due to represent her in court. Oh, you're her lawyer, huh? Fine, fine. Follow me. I cannot do a French accent to save my life. He is totally a crow. Or raven. That's my guess. Doth quote the raven. (laughs) Well, what are you waiting for? Keep up. (laughs) Oh, she's adorable. Sigh. Sigh. My papa hasn't forgotten about me, has he? As I lick my paw. <laughs> Damn, get the line to me out, I presume. You've arrived at the fantastic lawyer, Monsieur Falk, and his, and his petite assistant, Sperosen. My lady is knowledgeable. 
Don't. Don't talk like that, Sparrowson. Sorry. My papa told me that he would only hire the best lawyers in town. I'm flattered. Dun, dun, dun. But they weren't available at such short notice, so we hired the first people in his <laughs> the address directory. That's why we're AA, right? I like, love it. Like, I have an aardvark, you know, for like a name because it's always. <laughs> like, well, no, top of the list. Top of the list. <laughs> Maybe they called aardvark attorneys, but they weren't available either. <laughs> oh. You see, Falcon, I told you listing under aviary attorney would pay off. Quite so. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business was and defeat the... Oh, you're like no. not even... No. Mulan? What? Huh? Mulan. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that... Anyways. Okay. <laughs> Dame Catiline, would you fill us in on the details? Your father's letter was a bit brief. I can do my best. What is it you wanted to know? What happened on the night of the murder? Who was there that evening? Did you see anything suspicious? We should ask the first question first. Like, let's get the basics yeah, down. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. What exactly happened on the night of the murder? Oh, well, let me think. It was a Friday evening. Me and my papa had arrived at Chateau Crenier, the home of the great Baron Roguil. My papa spent all evening talking with Monsieur Gunway and the Baron about business stuff. Business stuff? Well, the three of them own a railway company together. So all through dinner they were talking about the company's shares and investments, but I didn't really understand most of it. A sigh. <laughs> but after dinner, this man with the camera took our photograph. That was a lot more fun. Sorry, man with a what took your what? Camera, it's a very new gadget. Yeah, look at that thing. It's like... It's huge. I'm pretty sure it's like the size and of weight of a... small child? No, I'm thinking of like a cinder block. Oh. <laughs> Camera. Oh, that's you. A tiny bug sits in a window with a tiny paintbrush and paints your picture very, very fast. Sits in a window, huh? Sits in a box. <laughs> You're just terrible. I'm terrible today. Got... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen viewers, I am very sorry. I tried to drink my coffee before I started, but I didn't fully finish. Mm-hmm. Sure. I'll blame it I, on the coffee. I'd blame it on the coffee, too. <laughs> in ten minutes, poof, you have a perfect picture. Wow, technology is amazing. I don't think the lady's explanation is right, Sparrowson. Pshaw, let me believe. <laughs> <laughs> Still, the camera sounds like a very special device. I'll make a note of it. Excellent. Camera has been added to your evidence folder. Let's see, what does it say about the camera? Photographer named Robitio, Robitio. attended the banquet. Cool. Please continue. So after we had the photograph, I went to the gardens to get some air, and that's when I found the body of Monsieur Grenouille. He was all ripped open. With cat claws, maybe? A housemaid saw me standing over the froggy Monsieur and called for help, and then the pre police arrived. Did you have blood on your hands? That's going to be my next question. Before I could say anything, I ended up here. It was such a blur. Probably good, because you can't implicate yourself if you started talking. It must have been terrifying. It wasn't so bad. My, pop, my papa taught me how to be a brave cat. Was there something else you wanted to ask, Monsieur Falcon? Who was there that evening? That's a good question. Damn, Catalan, who attended the banquet that, event, that evening? Well, there was me and my papa. My dearest mamma couldn't make it. And there was Baron Rogwe, who hosted the dinner's housemaid. Cooling, I think she was called. Of course, there was Monsieur Grandoui. Well, until, you know, he died. <laughs> and there was Monsieur Robicio de Robinio, the man with the camera, but he was only there for a little while. Hmm. I think that was all. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Did you see anything suspicious? Dagger did you see anything suspicious in that evening? Suspicious? Like, uh, maybe a guy <laughs> lurking in the shadows or a bloody murdered <laughs> weapon? Monsieur Falcon, I do believe you're looking for an easy answer. Well, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. I did not see anything I'm afraid. It's all a dead body. The evening was very normal. The food was delicious. The conversation was boring. It was all very ordinary until the incident. I see. Wait! Falcon, you missed something of huge importance. I did? Dame Catalan, you said the food was delicious. But you didn't say what food it was! Oh, he must be hungry. I'm about to say, he's thinking with his tongue. 
You and your dab <laughs> stomach. Oh, they curse. This it. is going to be awesome. You called it. You and your dab stomach. Let me see. Hmm. Fish. We had poached red herring to start. Garnish with garlic butter. Go on. <laughs> Get it? It's a red herring. They're throwing us a red herring right now. Yeah. No, I totally got you. Then a marbled steak served perfect bloody rare. Glorious. Falcon, write this down. What? This can't possibly be relevant to the case. Write it all down, please, for me. <laughs> wow. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> then, yeah, we're gonna spit okay, I think this... Okay, the, the game right, could be going... This is a red herring. <laughs> I was about to say, the, go, the game could be going in two directions here, right? One is an actual red herring, and it's just joking around with itself. Or, or... This actually plays an important part later, and it was supposed to be a red hair. Like, the red herring is the red herring that throws us off when it's actually not a red herring. Complicated. Totally. <laughs> bloody rare steak has also been added. Let's see that. Nikolai ate a bloody rare steak at the banquet because she's a cat. Because she's a cat. Sparrows, remind me not to let you talk to a client on an empty stomach. Come to think of it, I did find it a little strange that we weren't given any cutlery. Hmm. No cutlery? Even for the steak? Nope. You would think that the great Baron of Chateau Crenier would have gorgeous silverware, but there was none to be seen. This is a little peculiar. Was there anything else you want to know, Monsieur Falcon? No, I think that would be all. So what's the plan now, Falcon? The way I see it, we have two tasks. We should head to Chateau Crenier and try to sit the try to see the scene of the murder for ourselves, and we should track down the supposed photographer. Monsieur Robertio de Robignon. Two days for two tasks seems doable. But we should get. But well, we should get. But we should get head back. Get head back. <clears throat> okay, your mind's on food. Your mind's on elsewhere. On the pussy. <laughs> oh! You did not just say that. You, shame He's on you, about Fawin. The cat. Shame, 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 He's shame. About the cat. Fawin, shame, shame. But we should get them. We should get it back. It's so funny. I guess <laughs> get some rest first. We have a lot of work, we work ahead, ahead of us. us. Wait, Monsieur Falcon, before you go. See, it says about her. You do believe my story, don't you? I believe in justice. I like the dot ellipses. <laughs> Eh, I don't know. I, I, I believe you, because, uh... Allura should want to believe their clients, but I think yeah. you don't really want to say that. Wait, But if you say that, if you say that, she may be more willing to give you additional information. It's like a leak... If, if anybody's been seen legally blonde... Who ate the red herring? We don't know yet. They just told us what was served. I know, because I think whoever ate the red herring is the red herring. Okay. I understand. I think we should say I believe you. I think that way she'll be more forthcoming. I don't with know. I, I've been playing Falcon so far as like a haughty, like mm, I don't, I don't really give a damn. Like uh, the the well, dude we have from to be the Wind. We have to Brett Butler. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to <laughs> He's like, model ah. my voice after Scarlett O'Hara for Dean Catterline. But I think we should say I believe in you. I think Fine. to be so strategic here. I believe you. Oh, don't twist my arm here. Well, I will say. What's her motive? We don't have a motive of why she would want yet. to kill him, right? Yeah, we have nothing yet. She's just uh So a, at this moment She's just a dumb teen girl who rich girl who just like I would just want to a party, but it's so boring. And I love getting my photograph taken. Yes. No, oh, yeah, she wants them selfies, that's what them it is. Them selfies. Them selfies though. So Instagram and that stuff. Well at the moment then we do believe her, don't we? Okay, I believe you. I don't think you have a motive. Of course, damn Catalan. It's our duty as lawyers. And as gentlemen. I think you got a. I think you got something for uh, for. Well, she is a cutie, but he should uh, be careful about her trying to eat him, right? I don't know. She could, she's also suspected murderer. To have faith in your testimony, you can trust us. Thank you, thank you both. Like that's, we need a motive. Can't really like. What's her motive? Why? Why does everyone think she murdered him? What's the motive? She was just it. up. She was just over him. Dame Catherine, Monsieur Grandwi, Baron Roguil. These names are getting a bit confusing, aren't they? Yes, we call them, call them D, C, M, G, and B, R. Not particularly. Well, it is for me. I'm going to start compiling a Facebook so that I can keep <laughs> track of who everyone is. Telling you. Social media. <laughs> a what? 
A Facebook. It's a collection of people's names, pictures, and descriptions in one easy-to-carry catalog. I guess that's going to pop up over here somewhere, too. Pretty soon we have icons all over the yeah, place. Right? We can't it's see like, anything. Like we get to see like this little circle, and that's it. I think I understand. The name could use a little work, though. There it is. Sweet. So we got every time J. 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 Falcon. J. J. Falcon. Falcon's suave <laughs> and courageous lack. Oh, I wonder who wrote that what one. What a handsome fellow. Pertuar de Miao, the wealthy father of Dame Catiline. Pertuar hired us to defend Dame Catiline in court. Quark. 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 An ill-mannered jailkeeper seems to feel disgust for criminals and for animals in general. What a racist. The elegant bourgeois daughter of Signor Pertuar de Miao. She has been accused of murdering the Sierra Granui. And we have Granui, the froggy. I like how it says froggy instead of the frog mm -hmm. businessman. The froggy businessman who was found murdered at Chateau Crignier, a colleague of uh, Catman and <laughs> Catman Rogue. We don't have Rogue on here. Yeah, we're missing uh, we're missing a couple people because we haven't probably met him, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. careful, try not to hit the the table. All right. All right. What's next? You can access a list of people you have uh, by clicking the symbol. Let's make a move. Okay. So, do you think we should go today? Oh. Game safely at the start of each new day. Oh, that's cool. wonderful. All right. So, but you can also make a quick save. Um, save and quit from the pause menu. You can access the pause menu. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, Ooh. do you think we should go to the chateau and look at the murder scene? Or should we go talk to the photo? I think we should go to the murder scene and then talk to the, I agree. The, the, the photographer later. Let's go get an idea of what the murder scene looks like. And maybe we'll have additional questions or more focused questions to ask the photographer. I'm already going to say, I think the photographer did it. I think he was gonna. I think the, well, there's a little bug in there that's painting the yeah, picture in well, ten minutes. Well, I'm thinking that the frog stiffed them, and they gutted them. Or, or there's some sort of altercation. Watch the whole thing turns out to be an accident or something like that. <laughs> he was gutted open. Accident. Yeah, totally. He he fell on a spike or something. Falcon and Sparrow enter the courtyard outside Chateau Crenier. People with dirty clothes and gaunt faces linger around the building's shadows. Yeah. It's that's creepy. Ooh, what? Is that a kangaroo? Sultan. Excuse me, monsieur. I don't mean to be a pain, but my little girl and I are sick and starving, see? <laughs> Can I do that one? Yes. I'll be a gambady. <coughs> I don't suppose you've happened to have some spare change? You have 20 francs in your wallet. What will you do? I think because they beg around the area... They might have saw something. I completely agree with you. So. How much should we give? The baby coughed. Let's give 10 francs. One franc it is. <laughs> what? Here we go. Stay safe, madam. Many thanks to you, messieurs. We only have $20. Why are we going to give them half our monies? We might need that later. <laughs> but they look sick. The baby looks sick. Tell you what. If we come across them at the end of the case and we get paid out by Mr. Catman, then then sure we'll shower. The, we'll make it rain, okay? We'll, we'll make it we'll rain. We'll make it rain for him. And um, ladies and gentlemen, you're not seeing, but he is actually <laughs> making it rain with his hands right now. <laughs> that was pretty generous of you, Falcon. Hmm, times are tough. Making sure a mother and child have something to eat is the least I could do. But what am I doing? Standing here, moralizing. Come on, Sparrowson, we've got business to attend to. Your voice sounds just like Baron Dashforth from Foul Play right now. No, because that, I added, uh, with him, I added, uh, with, uh, what's his name? Oh, you scantless rule. Oh, uh, what's his Sean name? Connery. Sean Connery. This is like without the Sean Connery. <laughs> Falcon and Sparrowson step into the pristine wood paneled foyer of Chateau Crenier. Whoa, look at this place. Baron Wagui must be loaded. More than loaded, when it comes to lucrative investments, the Baron is a legend. Factories, chocolate shops, hotels, railroads, the Baron owns a little bit of everything this side of the CN. I read it as chocolate ships, and I was thinking <laughs> to myself, how do chocolate ships float without people eating them? Well, I mean, you gotta put in the chocolate river first, right? <laughs> chocolate fountain. Is he here right now? Yes, he is the smug looking <laughs> chap with the impressive mane. Lion? Is he a lion? But we must approach a man of his stature with tact and finesse. Hey, Baron, we'd like a word. How's that? Blunt as ever. 
Sprouse, and you have the finesse of an inebriated warthog. Oh. You can thank me later. I think I got his attention. Ooh, I want to do this one. Did I hear my name? Great Baron Rogiel, property owner extraordinaire at your service. And who might you fellows be? More investigators? Hey, yep, yeah, we're policemen. Now we're attorneys. Let's tell the truth. Yes, we should. Not quite. I am private attorney J.J. Falcon, and this is my associate Sparrows. Lawyers, eh? You know, you aren't the first to have passed through here today. Oh? Yes, yes, this jumpy, twitchy fellow came by this morning. Asked a bunch of questions, then hopped away before he heard the answers most curious. So, bunny. Hmm. Do you know who he was, Sparrowson? Perhaps I have a hutch, sorry, hunch. We'll be seeing him at the trial. You think it is a bunny? I think it's a bunny. I think it's a bunny. Hutch sounds familiar. Is that a bunny thing? I don't know. Friend of yours? Something like that. So what may I do for you, messieurs? We're doing some research on Monsieur Grinway, the frog who was killed here on Friday evening. Oh, of course, of course. Such a tragedy. He was a good friend and a loyal business partner. I suppose you messieurs will be wanting to see the crime scene for yourself. Actually, yes, that would be fantastic. Well, be my guest. I will find the garden where the... You will find the garden where the murder occurred through the back doors. You may also be interested in the lounge on the second floor, third door to the right. That would be where we gathered for a group photo pho photographer <laughs> photograph prior to the... Um, smoking that cigar. Unfortunate incident. Oh, can we see the finished photograph? I'm afraid not. It is to my understanding that a, photo that a photograph must be developed before it can be viewed. It's a slow process. My own copy of the photograph is to be delivered in three days' time. That's no good to us. The trial may be over by then. Nonetheless, we appreciate your hospitality. Thank you, Baron. It is no trouble at all. I'll be here to see you out when you're done with your investigations. So where shall we go first? So now I'm concerned. Maybe we should have gone to the photographer first to start developing the photograph so we can have it. I mean, he's probably already developing it. Yeah. This is old-timey time, so it probably takes like a week yeah. <laughs> to develop it. So, um, you said it happened out in the garden. Let's go there first. Let's go check out the garden first. Dame Catalina said that she found Monsieur Greenway on the stairs by the fountain, so this must be the very spot where the murder took place. Hey, Falcon. Do the crime scene investigation thing. Crime scene investigation thing? Yeah, you know, the thing where you get all eagle-eyed and analyze every object in excruciating detail. You mean search for evidence? Yeah, do that! That's not a bad suggestion. It wouldn't be the first time the Parisian police have missed something right under their noses. In investigation mode, you are free to examine the scene of the room. I feel Click like this is on like... the item of interest and Falcon will examine it in closer detail. This seems like like Sherlock Holmes mode. Oh, they they did this. Uh, you, have, you've never played or seen Ace Attorney, have you? It's exactly no, not, like this. Not. It's kind of cool. When you have enough or when you can find nothing else to examine, click on the X in the top right corner. Awesome. Okay. Select an area to examine. Um, the stairs, probably. If we can do the stairs. Uh, I don't, it won't let me go. I'm going over the stairs. Okay. Oh, there, oh, yep, there that's it is. Where he died. Dried blood on the staircase. This must be where Monsieur Grinway died. Do you see bloody footprints? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or maybe a name scrawled in blood written with the frog's last breath. You're like the romanticist and you're like the enlightenment, dude. <laughs> Wishful thinking. All I'm seeing here is a big sticky puddle. There's nothing to indicate the body was moved or that the frog left a last-minute clue. All I can say, all I can make out for the bloody mess is the mon that Monsieur Grenway was attacked and killed on the staircase. So somebody was on the staircase with him. How about right up... Is there a section? Yeah, somewhere there. Yeah, let's there. check over here. That's where Dame Ketterline would be. A finely crafted horse statue. The mane almost looks lifelike. Would you say it behooves you to stroke it? No. No, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's totally like one of those no-nonsense types. He's mm -hmm. down here. Another beautifully made horse statue. You know, my uncle once had a horse that refused to eat hay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. Eventually we realized it was just filling up on ho horse dares. Horse dares. Ugh, terrible. It's so terrible. He's just, not, he's just not here for puns. He's like, puns are just not my thing. A horse statue. This one has a goofy face. 
That reminds me of a joke. A horse walks into a bar and the barkeep says... Why the long face? Yes, yes. We've all heard that one. What? No. The barkeep says, You've got to stop coming here. You're drinking us under the stable. I think it's time to rein in that horse. <laughs> rein in. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so there's this one. Ben McGregor certainly likes his horse statues. I don't mind the horse statues, but the little cherub people creep me out. Baby should be waddling, not attempting saddleless horseback. Okay, so... I mean, there's the big fountain. I just want to see if there's anything... Doesn't seem we like might that. have missed. Something like super duper tiny. Yeah, no. This fountain is finely crafted. It's solid carved marble. That can't have been cheap. I see nothing but water in the bottom of the lower basin. It's a shame we can't see inside the upper basin from here. That would be a perfect place to quickly stash a murder weapon. <gasps> That's actually not a temple line of reasoning. We ought to wade in to take a closer look, just to be Ooh. sure. I suppose we should. Oh, I apologize. I wasn't being direct enough. What I meant to say was, Sparrowson, go wade <laughs> into the fountain and take a closer look inside the upper basin. Oh my gosh, Sparrowson. <laughs> Me? No way. If you want to go wading, do it yourself. I'm a respectable lawyer. You can't expect me to roll up my trousers and paddle around a fountain like a duck in a lake. Yeah, well, you don't pay me enough to justify getting my <laughs> sweet threads wet. Look, there's only one reasonable way to settle this. We'll flip for it. Flip for it? Yes, I'll flip this one franc coin. You call the outcome, get it wrong, and you go for a swim. Oh, that is totally Napoleon. <laughs> I think it's Napoleon. A.K.A. like Julius Caesar style. Yeah, well, dude, he was an emperor, right? He was an emperor, right? So what'll be heads or tails? Napoleon's face ah! or... Plant, Plant squiggles. squiggles. <laughs> what the hell? Um, uh, I'm gonna say tail feathers. Shake your tail feathers. Plant squiggles. That's called a wreath, Sparrows. And sure, I'll bet on the plant squiggles. Here I go. It's gonna be a two headed coin. Its heads should have gone with the old Emperor Falcon. Gah, fine, hold my shoes. Falcon really we should have <laughs> learned how to spot a rigged coin flag. Ah, I call that! Dun dun dun. I almost feel bad for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's pacing. That's almost. Awesome. Ah, you're back. Ooh, look at his wet, like, wet hat. Oh, yeah, it's like dripping, like, right over his thing. Have a good swim. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a bird, not a fish. But I did find a mystery item in the upper basin. It's no murder weapon, though. Oh, it's the cigar that the, uh... Is it a cigar? That, that is, that, I can't make it out. That is totally a cigar with, the, like, the little thingy. And who did we see smoking, smoking a cigar? cigar? Yeah. But he could have easily smoked a cigar, like, even before the party happened and just tossed it in the yeah, basin. Yeah, that, that is true. It's no murder weapon, though. What is... Oh, what is this? It's brown and sticky and it smells weird. Don't tell me you picked up a... Very, Very well cigar, but... Possibly belong to Baron O'Griel. Correct. But that shouldn't be too surprising. It is his house, after all. I'll stash in the evidence folder just in case. Cigar butt has been out to your evidence folder. Is there anything else we need to do here? I think we got it all. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over everything real quick. Okay. All right, let's call it for right now, and we'll continue on as we go to the go to the, the rest of the house. Yeah, yeah, we'll check out the rest of the house in the next episode. So stay tuned for some more Avery Attorney with Fawen and Micro here on Fawen Channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends about the sweet ass game we're playing. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to share and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And we will practice our French before the next episode. Well, you can practice French. I'm not. I'm. I don't know. I'm half French. I can't speak French. <laughs> C'est la vie. C'est la vie. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you all next time. Bye.